A bug! There's already a bug in the tent! So, you will never guess what Michael and I have decided to do tonight. Actually, maybe you will guess it, because you've probably already clicked into this video. You probably already saw the title, so you might know what we're doing, but we are going camping in the backyard. Young Lucy was a camper. Young Lucy loved the outdoors. She loved going camping. I remember actually one year in my childhood, the Bronx Zoo did this amazing outdoor sleepover experience where children and their parents could come and tent in the Bronx Zoo with the animals. When my family heard about this, my brother and I freaked out, we were so excited, and my sister wanted nothing to do with it. So my dad took me and my brother to the Bronx Zoo and we did an overnight camping excursion and it was incredible. And I always thought of myself as a camper. Then comes adult Lucy and adult Lucy thought that she was a camper because childhood Lucy was a camper. But adult Lucy, turns out she's just not a camper. How do I know this? Well, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, Michael and I went with our friends Lauren and Stan on a camping expedition. I don't even know if I can call it camping. It was more like glamping. It was one of those companies where there are assembled tents that actually have beds in them. You don't have to pitch anything. You don't have to really bring anything. You just show up and it's a preset campsite and it's definitely glamping. We went on a very cold weekend in the fall. When we got there, the tent had the flaps open and that was really nice that the host left it kind of set up for us and left it open like it was an outdoor experience. But when we got there, I went into the tent and I was taking a little look around and I noticed it looked like there was some really interesting wallpaper on the wall, like almost like these little sticks on the wall. And so I went up to it to look at the wallpaper and it turned out it was just lines of bugs, like stick bugs in a row, pretty much on every corner of the canvas. So that was my first introduction to adult camping was being in an enclosed space filled with bugs. I'm not a bug person, I really dislike bugs. If you watch my Nicaragua video, you'll see that I went to an eco lodge in Nicaragua for a week and there were a lot of big bugs and it was very scary for me. bug person to begin with and here I am in a canvas tent filled with bugs. Long story short, adult Lucy doesn't love camping, but adult Lucy loves to push herself to do things that she doesn't love, to have new experiences and try new things as you know. So that's why I came up with the idea that I wanted to go camping. And to make it a little bit less intense, I decided let's just do it in the backyard. We don't need to go to a campsite. We don't need to go into the middle of the wilderness where we don't know what's gonna approach us. The backyard is a very safe space. We have a fence around the entire property, which is meant to keep big animals like deer away. So we don't think anything's gonna come up to us except for maybe a bunny. My birthday was a couple months ago and for my birthday, a couple family members got me Amazon gift cards cards and I decided to put the gift cards towards purchasing the tent and also, wait for it, a blow up mattress. So this is where non-camping adult Lucy comes in once again. I cannot sleep on the ground. I tried five days of sleeping on the floor for an episode of Try Living With Lucy and it really hurt my back. I know it's actually supposed to help people's backs, did not help mine. I am a very soft mattress kind of girl. I like sinking into a cloud of fluffy pillows, fluffy sheets, and a soft mattress. So I didn't think attempting to sleep on the ground was a good move, especially given that if you followed me on Instagram, you'll know I've been experiencing some back pain lately, so I needed to be comfortable. So I'm very excited to see what happens and in other words, we are going glamping in the backyard. Let's do it. Hey, ready to go camping? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> It up <laughs> and now I'm in. Wow, pretty cool. It's popped. Oh, hi, welcome to my tent. <laughs> 
All right, so here is the tent. Can you unzip that? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, so here's the tent. There's this back door zipper. Then as you move around it, it's just closed on the side. And then here's your main entrance right here. Hey, how's it going? Great. All right, so <laughs> this is where we're sleeping tonight. It looks- It's early evening. So fun. I'll be going to bed now. <laughs> the main thing I'm excited about sleeping outdoors is looking up at the stars at night. I'm also excited about waking up and getting some fresh air into my lungs from the outdoors. That's always something I try to do when I wake up, so now it will be forced upon me. I'm excited just to have a new experience, sleep outdoors excited for all the wildlife that's probably going to creep around our tent. Yeah, just to be in nature, you know? I know. <laughs> I'm really excited, so let's go blow up the mattress now and get it in here. Sounds good. The mattress is blown and it's very comfortable, to be honest. I'm really excited about it. So now all we have to do is carry it outside and get it into the tent, which could be a bit of a struggle, but we'll film the whole process. <laughs> Coming through. Whoa. Careful, don't wet our mattress. <laughs> So we do plan on having dinner inside of the house tonight. We're not doing a full on camping experience with the campfire or anything like that. But I am gonna try to embody the experience as much as possible. So I'm not planning on washing my face and doing my skincare routine tonight. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know that's a big deal for me because I follow my skincare routine religiously. Differin actually sponsored this video. Even though I pretty much have stuck to the same skincare routine that I started a few months ago, I did start adding in a few products here and there. So I filmed this last night to show you what new products I've been using. My skincare routine of the moment is pretty much exactly what it was in a previous video. So I'm not gonna go through it all. One product that's made the biggest difference for me is the different adapalene gel. It's an over-the-counter prescription strength retinoid and I've been tracking my progress with it in the Clear 90 app which basically allows you to go through 90 days and see how your skin changes as you're using the product. Here are some photos from when I first started doing that and here are some more recent photos. This is my skin right here right now with nothing on it. I have no makeup on and this is how it looks. I always love experimenting and exploring with new things just to see how they feel and if they're working and then if they do seem to be good, I try to incorporate them more long-term. So I have three new different products that I've started using recently and I actually have started using them in a more regular way, so I wanna share them with you in this video. First is this Pore Minimizing Toner. It has witch hazel in it and I just put this on on a reusable cotton pad and it basically preps my skin for the Adapalene gel, which I use after this. Another is the Resurfacing Scar Gel. This is a really great treatment for anyone that has acne scarring. Personally, I only use it in a couple of areas where I've picked at pimples in the past and I'm just trying to heal those regions. And the last product, which is my personal favorite, is the Detox and Soothe Two-Step Treatment Mask. This product, when you open it, sort of looks like a little yin and yang. And if you pop open the tops, you can see that it is two steps. 
So the first step is the warming clay mask. That's the white side. This is the detoxifying pore stage. It feels really good and really warm. And then you just rinse it off with cool water after three minutes and put on the blue gel side. And as opposed to the warming clay, the gel is very cooling. So it almost feels like icy and cold on your face after the warming clay. And that you don't rinse off, you just leave on. My skin afterwards feels really cool and tight and nice to touch. So those are a few of my favorite products that I've been adding in and really loving. But for the most part, I've tried to stick to a really simple skin regimen because my skin's looking really good now and I don't want to do anything to mess that up. I kind of feel like the mattress is deflating a bit. Not sure why, but it doesn't feel as rigid as it did when we first blew it up. Ah! Look at what's on the mattress. A broken leaf straight from the bottom of my sock. Gotta get that off. We'll put it on the tent floor. Bye. So although this is kind of unrelated to a camping video, Michael just went to run an errand and I'm just hanging in the tent alone. So I figured I would use this moment to sort of open up and share a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes in my business. So I recently hired a new team member to join the Lucy Fink media team. She is virtual, so she actually lives in Alabama and I'm really excited to get started working with her because I've been needing a virtual assistant for a really long time now. There are so many moving parts in my business. There is, oh, I don't even know where to start. I have weekly YouTube content, daily Instagram content, a newsletter where I try to send an email out at least four times a month or once a week. I have a Patreon membership where there are some incredible perks and I have to be providing a lot of value to that community. I have a Facebook page, I have a TikTok account, and even with apps like Instagram, there are now so many different parts of the app that I need to create content for. So there are Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, IGTV, and of course, in-feed posts and videos. And I create a lot of online courses and e-learning materials. So I have an Instagram branding course, a stop motion course, and I'm working on a YouTube mastermind course. So because of that, I got a lot of moving parts. I currently have one person who works for me named Laura, and she is sort of like my all around content manager in terms of helping me create content and manage all of my branded projects that I have going on. But I really was in need of another team member to help with a lot of the implementation things, email marketing funnels, copywriting, and just generally lifting things off of my shoulders. Whenever you get started in the content creation industry, it's so normal to just take everything on yourself. And that kind of makes sense because you are the face of your brand, you're the voice of your brand, you know what you wanna share and say, and honestly, it's like easier to do it yourself than to give it to other people sometimes. But as my business grows and scales, I'm realizing how important it is to delegate tasks to people, to make sure that people who are doing things for me are actually better at those tasks than I am. And so not only are they taking something off my plate, but they're helping me do the task even better. And I just wanted to pop by for a second and remind you if you are a content creator or you're someone who is starting a business or a brand for yourself, don't forget the power of delegating tasks. You really can't grow a big giant business all on your own, even though some people make it seem like they've done that. Everyone who is really wildly successful in business has support and has a great team around them. So I'm really excited about my new team and it looks really pretty right now. The sun is starting to shine through the clouds. I can see it on the tent and I'm very excited for this sleepover experience. All I have to say is we picked the most magical night to go camping because the sky is so beautiful right now. Just behind the camera, it's orange and pink, purple, glowing. The clouds are strewn across the sky. It looks unbelievable. So it's just really a perfect night to be out here and to be looking at the sky. This is how I set up my phone to take good videos. Sitting on the edge of the barbecue pit, 
has a little pillow on the ground in case it falls. And actually, I chose to use my phone for this shot because as you can see in the camera, looks horrible color-wise, but this footage in the phone, wait until I show you what the phone footage looks like. Okay, we're in the tent. Here we are. We're tucked into bed. We have comfy blankets, sweatshirts and sweatpants, and socks on. We got pillows behind our heads. Michael's cell phone is set up as a little light <laughs> so we can film this for you. And we're ready for bed. Pretty cozy in here. <laughs> it quarters, is cozy, isn't quarters it? Quarters are a little bit tight. <laughs> and Lucy's taking up about two thirds of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm like really close to you because I'm You're scared. You're close to me. I don't but... want to be. I think we might have to switch sides because that side is like closer to the house and this side is closer to the not house and I'm scared. Whatever you Let's want. Let's switch sides. Right now? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. This what is are you doing? Really bad move. Good. No, now you still have two thirds of the bed and I have no blanket. Okay, hold on, let me help you. There we go. Now we're safely tucked in. As I mentioned, we did have dinner inside the house with Michael's family, but then when it came time to wash up for sleep, all we did in the bathroom was brush our teeth. So I didn't do my skincare routine that I do every night. Michael didn't do his skincare routine that he does every night which is non-existent. He doesn't have a skincare routine. Just being in the bathroom while you do yours is enough. <laughs> I am a little bit scared because there's like <laughs> sounds going on around us. And whenever the tent goes, I think that there's a giant animal outside. There might be. We recently watched a show on Netflix called Alone. If anyone has heard of it, it's very interesting and people basically get dropped off in the wilderness and have to survive and they do not have any accommodations quite like this <laughs> but still like bears come up to their tent and it's really scary and so we're basically living that right now that's what i'm afraid <laughs> of i'm afraid of a bear um my back feels like something's biting it do you think it is no no i don't think so Okay, maybe it's just an itchy blanket or something. Mm -hmm. We decided to not put a sheet on the bed after all because we didn't want to wake up with like damp sheets. So we're just straight on the air mattress with our fluffy blankets and that's it. So our plan is to try to go to sleep now. It's going to be a symphony of sounds around us. Listen <laughs> to what is happening outside. Is that a frog? I swear there's something on my leg. Holy crud. <laughs> Holy crud. <laughs> this is... I think you're just itchy. Okay. Anyway, it sounds really nice outside, so we're just going to close our eyes, drift off to sleep, imagine what the stars look like over us. We unfortunately didn't get the tent with the star hole on the top. We'll see you when we wake up, and we'll get some coffee. Sleep tight. See ya. Good night. Good night. Mwah. Um, it's not my best night of sleep ever, <laughs> but it was okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, I did a lot of tossing and turning. I woke up in the middle of the night. It's really hot in here. And so we woke up and we did this, which this is a screen. So that felt really nice. But um, overall, now that the sun is starting to come in, it's getting like steamy. A little toasty in here. A little toasty. I think I need some fresh air and coffee. Sounds good. Can you get me coffee? Sure. <laughs>